Welcome back to Distorted Steel. Let's do something a little less steel and a little more plasticky. Um, I'm sure this has been done a million times, but you know, I want to try it myself. I didn't go out there and Google around, look and see who's done this and how they did it. I'm just going to try something myself. Here's my plan. We've got a, what amounts to basically a Traxxas Rustler with a, uh, some sort of castle brushless setup I put in there years ago. Um, I found an STL for holding the M12 batteries on uh, the internets. I'll link uh, this guy's design um, in the uh, comments. Looks like a nice, the battery's fitting really nice, so it's a good draw. But what we're gonna do is, I wanna try putting two of them in here. So these batteries are two amp hour M12s, smaller ones. I'm gonna run them in parallel and so i'll end up with basically 4000 or 4 amp hours and still 12 volts um this esc and setup can handle the 12 volts quite easily um and we'll just see what happens you know um if this does work out you know not that it's a good option these batteries are probably more expensive than well for sure the milwaukee batteries are more expensive than just buying a uh good lithium polymer battery for these things but i thought well what happens if friends come over a friend comes and wants to play with the rc car and all my batteries are dead or you know they're 10 years old and ugly like that can i make a battery mount system that just slides in here pins down and i could quickly add two of these in there and the car can be run um, so I got myself some blade connectors here um, for going into the bottom of this thing, some wire, uh, heat shrink, soldering iron, solder, um, and if this actually, I'll just, we'll just, you know, glue these down or stick them down however just to make sure it works, it works, see how long it runs with it, see how fast it goes if it's, you know, comparative to uh, a three cell lithium polymer which i expect is not going to be because the discharge rate is going to be significantly lower with these but we'll see what happens it's an, it's an experiment like i said i haven't looked it up on the internet see who else has done it and how it turned out let's figure it out ourselves that's the way i like to do things so let's start putting stuff together and uh throw it together and see what happens if like i said if it does work out i'll draw this up i'll take uh these draw them into a plate um with a couple mounts that you can slide them into one of these uh rustler stampedes and uh you know sneak in 12 volt uh a couple 12 volt milwaukee batteries so let's start soldering not real pretty but that's what we got uh set up in parallel now i'll uh put the little caps back on and then uh we'll uh, add a connector it's like uh ec3 on the car and then uh See if it works. All right, connectors on there. Even got it right. 12 volts, positive, negative, positive, negative. So let's uh, set up the car and see if it actually powers up.
<laughs> okay, we're good. Well, as you can see, it actually worked. It um, does move. I would say, uh, power-wise, it felt pretty similar to a 3-cell uh, lithium polymer that normally runs in this thing. Um, a little tough, as you're seeing with the current uh, weather conditions up here in the Midwest. Uh, lots of ice and very little dry area to run it on. Um, we'll have to do some more testing when it warms up. We get a little more exposed ground and see how the how it lasts as far as you know the duration of the run. The batteries weren't warm at all. Um, there you know, obviously not taking too hard of a hit. So, well, it's a feasible, you know, temp replacement if you're uh, out of batteries and you're having a whole bunch of Milwaukee's laying around. You could use this. But more testing to come. But for now, we'll call it uh, yeah, a sort of win, kind of a pointless level. A pointless win. We'll call it a pointless win. So, uh, we'll close that video out. Uh, thanks for watching guys. See you soon.